So one of the issues I came across while I was making the handle for my Tanto was um, chiseling out the shape of the blade into the wood. And one of the problems is that a standard chisel is flat. So that when you're chiseling, the chisel wants to go down and you can't use it laterally because the, the back of the design gets in the way. You have to lift it up and then you end up gouging the, the wood. So what Japanese um, knife or sword makers, I should say, do is they use a special kind of chisel which I believe is called a Saya chisel. I might have to correct myself if I've got this wrong. Um, and the difference with the Saya chisel is that it's curved. I don't know if you can see the curve here. Now, this is a prototype I, I've started to make uh, as an experiment. And what are the features of this chisel? First of all, as I said, it's the curve on the underside. So that if you imagine, I could start chiseling like this and look where my the angle is so I can get over any obstruction at the back the other thing is that it's rounded along here it's got a very very slight gentle curve which gives it a rounded end um, so this was as I say it was a first go it's pretty crap um, but you know what it's a it's a decent start and it's pretty sharp um, I don't particularly want to chisel my workbench but it's not it's not bad um, and the steel I made out of it, it out of is 01 state steel, which I've got here. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to keep the basic six inches length of the actual tool, and then I'm going to add another three, maybe three and a half inches for a tang that will go into a wooden handle. Then the next stages are going to be to grind these edges here, the beveled edges, um, and then make the round bottom, grind a tang so that it can fit into a wooden handle, which I will turn on the lathe, and bend it so that it's at the right, um, the right shape. And then after that, harden it, temper it, sharpen it. So that's the basic process. <laughs>
So one of the things I want to do before I bend it, while I've still got it with this temporary handle, is I want to grind the bevel. It doesn't have to be perfect because I can adjust it on the Tormek later, but um, it would take for hours to do this on the Tormek. And so what I've done is I've cut a, a 25 degree um, wedge here to give me a sense of the angle. It won't be perfect, but at least I kind of know what 25 mil feels like or 25 degrees feels like. Okay, it's a start. Let me try and demonstrate um, how this works. Imagine that I want to chisel out this area of the scabbard for a sword or a blade. And at the front here is the bit that I don't want to chisel. So I have to angle the chisel down and as I chisel, it'll dig in. The idea of the sire chisel is if you see I can be flatter, and obviously this is wildly exaggerated, so just imagine. But I now have a lot of clearance, although the tip of my chisel is now going along the wood. So I hope that makes sense. The next process will be to harden and temper it. One of the nice things about uh, making a tool like this is I only really need to harden the end of it. I don't have to harden the whole thing, so I don't have to use my uh, my big oven, um, which would use up a hell of a lot of electricity and the way things are, I'd rather avoid it. So I'm going to heat up the tip with map gas, and then I'm gonna quench it in some uh, rapeseed oil I have here, and that should do the trick. So I've turned the main lights off so that hopefully we can see a bit of a better glow here. Another test. That's skating, and there it's not. So it's hardened well. Great. So now for the temper. Well, as you can see, I, I put some um, Sharpie on it to, to see where it was cutting. And obviously I didn't grind it very straight on the belt earlier, which is fine. And that's one of the things the tool makes doing. So...
The first thing I'm going to do, or do again rather, is to use the rough side of the stone to give the wheel a slightly rougher grit. It's the beauty of these stones is that when I finish the main grind, I then turn it over to this smooth side on this side and it will then make the stone smooth or finer to a finer grit. I'm not sure what the exact grits are, but that's the principle. As you can imagine what I'm doing now, of course I'm, I'm really creating this bevel pretty much from scratch. I mean I was quite impressed because I set the angle at 25 millimeters and what this is telling me is of course this is very accurate when you set the angle is that my uh, my hand grind on the belt grinder actually wasn't far off um, so that has saved me a lot of time but this is taking a lot of time when when I come back to it in future just to resharpen of course it'll be much much quicker. see how we're getting on all right so it's definitely getting I don't know if you can see this it's definitely getting better but of course the crucial bit is I want it to come right to the end here okay so I have ground it all the way to the edge it's already pretty sharp um, there's going to be a little bit of a burr but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fine stone to, to grind this to the finer finish and we'll see what effect that has. I don't know how long you're supposed to do this by the way I'm just doing this completely by ear or by <laughs> Going by ear. I'm doing this for ignorance. It's hard to tell. Anyway, let's go and hone it. I'm going to put on its temporary handle. I'm going to make a, a handle for this, um, but I'm waiting for a few bits and pieces. So um, I'm going to put this back on and we'll give it a try. So this is a piece of uh, paddock which I'm making the scabbard for my tanto out of and I'm pretty happy with this. There's nothing wrong with this chisel. It's 
So there you go. A homemade Japanese chisel, a Saya chisel. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but I'm quite keen for it to do the job, and it certainly does the job. Ah, result.